As you know, the Teranostic is uh, to diagnose the patient and to treat with the same the targets. Uh, the targets in nuclear medicine is a little different like for the oncologist because the targets for us like is the key to the door and the working part is the isotopes. And uh, first we use the isotopes with the small energy but variety of the range of reactivity to check where is the tumor location, where is the metastasis, this is the diagnostic part. And we use the same target, the same to key the door, but only to switch the isotopes, for the isotopes with the high energy, but very, very short range of activity that's working exactly in that part that we deliver it. And that is, uh, you know, that is the Teranostic part. This is, you know, the whole the idea Teranostic. And uh, we found in the paraglioma and pheochromocytoma two targets that you could target it. One is uh, this uh, norepinephrine receptors. This is MIBG, well known from this uh, lots of the years. And this is uh, FDA as IMA approval. And the second uh, that we could use, it is somatostatin receptors. And uh, that we could use now. And we have uh, this uh, the working part for this. It is unfortunately not approved for the paraglioma and pheochromocytoma, but it is, in, uh, it is is uh, now approved for these neurocrine tumors, but now it's ongoing uh, this first uh, prospective study that for sure from this will we have uh, the data. Uh, if you look for the data in the literature, even we have a very limited, we have not randomized trials. The most important trials is that the bot is possible. This, uh, the most important is that uh, the driving for this treatment is imaging. You should choose between this boat of uh, this treatment option. How is the imaging? And uh, if you have uh, the comparable, you know, this imaging data, now we have the sum in the regression model that we have the better PFS for the PR in that for the MFG. That I think that uh, this is something that we should take into consideration.